Alright guys, welcome to part 3 of the jungle ranked series uh, for Shaco. Um, leaving, literally leaving off from where we left off um, in part 2. Now, as you can see here, I uh, initiate on Nasus. He nearly dies and then he ulties and then the rest of his team comes along and helps him. And this is actually where I die. The Sona stunned me. I was actually planning on getting away with my Q. So that was a bit of a fail, but who cares because we just made up for it with a Garen kill. Uh, so while I'm dead, my gold's sticking up, and then you'll uh, find that I'll be getting my Phantom Dancer when I uh, respawn. And now you, you see here, I'm rushing my Phantom Dancer again. Um, like before in my previous series. Uh, because, you know, as I said, remember that Phantom Dancer is very, very important for very very important for whatever build you're building with, with Shaco because essentially Shaco can actually become a carry and that's as you'll see later uh, later on in this in this part and part 4 of this series you'll see that I will I have the potential to actually be you know like a carry like a, almost like a master Yi um, because he does so much da damage I mean I'll be critting 1000 1100 opening it is it is insane, <laughs> um, but this in this part you'll be witnessing some pretty awesome team fights, some pretty awesome um, shaka mechanics as to how you can use them to, to kill to your liking, and it, you know you'll be seeing double kills, triple kills, etc. Close to a pentakill, but I got kill stolen earlier by uh, uh, later by Garen, so I got denied my penta, <laughs> which is annoying, but oh well. Anyway, moving on. So uh, here we go. Remember what I said in part two about um, Aram, you know, all random, all mid. This is exactly the same again. Don't know why we do it so much in this game, because technically, in a ranked, you wouldn't even have to be doing this. It'd just be the game would be all over the place, pushing there, pushing here. But I think because my team have recognised that the other team don't really have much hope in winning anymore, I don't think they really care too much. But hey, that's not the point. Anyway. So, uh, as you see, I'm always constantly harassing. I don't have blue buff, so I'm running out of mana quick. But the point is, I'm harassing, keeping them back, keeping them back. So that it gives us time to be able to regroup. Um, and we're going to be we're gonna be taking that middle turret as well. Um, but here we go. I'm um, going for the blue. And remember what I said about putting the box there and then uh, aggro's the, um, the actual the actual monster and they turn their back on you and when you're hitting them from behind you get a 20% extra bonus 20% extra um, damage bonus and that's great I mean that will help you get your buff faster and also you take less damage anyway they've taken our mid turret which is bad news but look at this just look at this Nasus gets flattened um, and then I come along and proceed on hitting Caitlyn who also dies, but Soraka somehow got that kill. <laughs> um, and I don't bother chasing Sona because she's too far away, so uh, I went to go for Lux, but don't even need me. So it's great. You know, our team's working like clockwork. And then Sona reappears for some reason. Uh, safely by the turret, I suppose. But you know. Oh, you see that I'm warding those little uh, areas next to the river. Um, as you can see on the minimap. Well, basically... That's well, those passages are one of the biggest escape routes for the enemy team and us. So we go through those escape routes and they follow. They're gonna be feared, and that shaves off about a second of their chase for us. And a second, when you've got Phantom Dancer and Ability Boots, usually means about 200 meters, metaphorically. <laughs> there we go, and Vega gets to kill. That's good, good double work there, and as you say. As I said, Vega gets incredibly fed. It's a shame that Sinzel gets to kill on him there. Tried to kill him, but obviously they, he got help, so uh, that's unlucky. Moving on. This is a uh, remember in part one or part two. I can't remember now. I'm losing track, going mad. They, uh, I said that at one point they're actually able to push as a unit. Uh, well, this is the bit. This is the bit where they're actually able to push. And then they just get screwed over again. 
let's see, Garen gets that kill. I've got the first kill on Nasus. Nasus really doesn't, really fails to uh, impress me. He really does. I mean, he's, he, uh, I don't know. Nasus is an OP champion to play in ranked. I really don't understand why he didn't do so well in this game. Perhaps he wasn't soloing, I don't know. There we go, Garen survives. Sindal must be fuming. We get stunned by Sona and her ulti. Quite frankly, I don't fancy dancing in the middle of a battlefield. And it, it was just painstaking, really, because there was all this action going on in mid, but we're not taking a turret. And to be honest, I give them credit for defending so well. Uh, I really do. Um, but hey, you know, what, what, what else is there to it? I mean... They're defending well, we're basically flattening them with kills. And I'll tell you what, this is where it all turns around because there we go, we get that kill on Sona. Uh, Gangplank's ulti keeps them at bay. And then eventually we take the turret, I think. Oh yeah, and these people I'm playing with are French. Not that it means anything significant, unless you're racist, but you know. Damn you racist. Anyway, uh <laughs> That was so completely off topic. Um, that's his ulti, he dies anyway because I backstab him. Ignite, ignite, got the kill. There we go, get a double kill. Ace. Yeah, sorted. And then I thought I'd go to Baron. Oh, uh, sorry, not Baron, Dragon. Uh, and this is what I meant by the Dragon fail. Um. <laughs> uh, pointless, I know. <laughs> Um, but instead I make up for it by getting a blue, so there we go, it's, it's a little bit better. I noticed the game chat is funny when people say, report this, report that, report this. And uh, the thing I find about the LOL community, alright, it really does strike me <coughs> that, <coughs> sorry, um, that the LoL community is probably the most ridiculous gaming community I've ever seen. I mean, World of Warcraft's one thing, you know, um, like the rudeness or whatever, but League of Legends just takes it to a new level. I mean, not that I'm insulting you guys or anything, but seriously, some of the players I come across are crazy, like, y y you die once and they're like, oh, you fucking noob, oh, oh you noob, gay, oh. Uh. I'm going to report you. Your mother should go and die and get cancer. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, later on in this game, Sona types in all chat. Go to hospital and get cancer. Unbelievable, really. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, Finn escape. Thanks to uh, Gangplank, Soraka, and... Well, not Garen. Well, Garen, yeah. Garen did do... Yeah, well... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah. Very narrow escape there, so I was quite lucky. And this bit really makes me laugh. This Nasus and Vega. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see in a minute. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm Russian Phantom Dancer now. Up, oh, Infinity Edge. Sorry. Look at that! Look at that! So many seconds have passed, and that's. Uh, <laughs> look at that! Oh, unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable! Uh, it's crazy how Nasus didn't kill Vega. That was um, that was so stupid. Oh dear. Yeah, but there we go. This is where things start to go. This is where things start to go really uphill. This is where you start seeing the uh, triple kill, double kill combinations. Um, they are hilarious, I'm telling you. And there we go. Sona, so na na na, yellow hell. Her fault, really. I mean, she should have known what's coming. <laughs> and I stand there dumbly, not realizing I'm taking turret hits. Stupid. Anyway, uh. I saw Sindel there, and I'm sorry, I came over with a ridiculous, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, there's not much else to say really, I just had to do it, <laughs> remember what I mentioned about uh, suicidal kills in part one, well, that was one of them, that was, uh, it was quite funny actually. Yeah, Sona's, uh, Sona's ulti, Lux's ulti. Lux's ulti doesn't even scratch us anymore. And uh, you remember when I said Garen was going tanky, but not too tanky, because he's building damage items. Well, look at him. <laughs> he's doing so much damage. 
kill, kill, kill. Anyway, that will have to do for part three. See you in part four.